Hi there. I'm Bob Warfield, and I want to show you the one unique feature in GWizard that every CNCer needs. That feature is called CAD CAM Wizards, and no other package has anything close. What makes it special is that it is literally the fastest, easiest way to get awesome feeds and speeds you will ever see. Best of all, you have to learn almost nothing to use it, and it's great for beginners and experts alike. CAD CAM Wizards are called that because they're designed to work the way your CAM software works. After all, if you're a CNCer, your feeds and speeds are going straight into that CAM software, aren't they? Let's check out CAD CAM Wizards. Start by bringing up GWizard. Okay, here's GWizard. And clicking on the CAD CAM tab. Okay, so these are CAD CAM Wizards. And notice a few things. I'll just give you a quick tour. Top to bottom, there's a place here to select uh, the machine, the material you're going to cut. These are the different operations that you're familiar with seeing in your CAM software. You can get feeds and speeds for a pocket, 2D profiling, holes, 3D surfaces, uh, or face milling. These are the inputs. For each one of these operations, there's very few questions you have to answer to get back a result, and that's why it's so easy to use. The results go in here. You've got a tuning feature. You've got what I call a tortoise hair slider that you can take from uh, aggressive to conservative. And then last but not least, you've got a DFM window, which are your hints uh, that it gives you back to help make your design even better. So let's do a quick example. Let's do a pocket. Uh, I'm going to keep the same machine and good old 6061 aluminum. By the way, if you're wondering what an operation looks like, uh, maybe you're so new you don't uh, yet know the terminology. A pocket is looks like this. It's a, it's a sort of a, an inset from the top of the material that you want to cut out. It could be almost any shape. It doesn't have to be a rectangle like what I've shown here. Okay. And all G-Wizard really needs to know about the pocket is how deep is it? So let's say it's a half an inch, and what's your minimum corner radius inside that pocket? Uh, if you want to add a, a chamfer along the top, you can do that. But we'll skip that, but let's just keep it simple. And then you just click the Recalc button, and here you have it. G-Wizards come back very quickly with both a roughing and a finishing pass. It's telling you everything you need to know to answer all your CAM software's questions. Here's the tool you should be using, number of passes, the cut depth, the cut width, your step over, your RPMs, your feed rate, uh, how far should the tool stick out of the tool holder, uh, what type of entry to use, a helix in this case, uh, here's your feed rate for the entry, here's what the material removal rate looks like, here's the time of the operation, uh, here's some extra notes about the operation, uh, so on and so forth. And likewise, that's the roughing pass. You've also got a finish pass here uh, that you can take. So pretty easy, right? It took almost nothing to set this up and get back some feeds and speeds. But how good are they? Well, GWizard uses artificial intelligence algorithms to calculate a bunch of scenarios. It just went through almost 1,500 scenarios, 1,476, in order to get these feeds and speeds. These are the best out of those tests. And as I say, these are not just random uh, selections of variables. These are AI-guided selections of variables that use our feeds and speeds cutting physics engine. So uh, it's really good data, and these are really good numbers that are pretty hard to beat. Okay, those are CAD CAM wizards. Like I said, it's a unique feature and it is absolutely the easiest way for you to get awesome feeds and speeds very quickly. Thanks.